Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is going to be one of potentially many videos depending on feedback and general reception of this particular exercise. This is the GPD P2 Max and this is my first attempt to get Hackintosh on any machine ever. I've never Hackintoshed anything ever before in my life. Uh, when I say that I spent 20 minutes thinking about how to get this on here, that is being generous. I did this uh, in between while I had some time at work. Literally most of the time was waiting for a uh, USB flash drive to get Mojave on it and then Clover, putting Clover on it and then formatting and installing this took up the majority of the time, but I didn't really have to like look at the device to actually really do anything. Uh, right now, I the first it took literally ten minutes of thinking to get this up and operational. I read some things extremely fast, plop some stuff together, and Bob's your uncle. Here we are. Uh, one of the benefits of this particular platform is that this is the one that you'll get is the 8100Y. This particular model is the 8200Y. Suffice to say that the there is a MacBook 10 comma one model that uses the 7Y32. The only thing that you need to know about that is it is the same system on a chip socket. Uh, so it's largely compatible and the same thing. The only thing that's different with the 8100Y is a few, very few minor things, uh, specifically with HVC and also uh, HDMI 4K60 out, uh, that is HDMI 2.0 instead of 1.4. So th little things like that. Largely, it's the same chip with just some tiny alterations. Now, I have gotten... GPU acceleration to work on this because it does Mac just already has drivers for the HD 615 so there really isn't a whole bunch to do there however to get graphics acceleration running on this particular display I don't have running right now and I haven't really even looked that hard I have only done cursory glances I have I did have the um, GPU acceleration working when I do USB-C out to HDMI to another monitor and that was working However, when I do it to this display, it's not, and I'm sure that there's something that I need to do with potentially this Clover configurator or something else. I don't know. Again, I'm not a pro at Hackintosh, and this is literally the first one I did, and it slapped it together really fast. So this particular video is twofold. Number one, to show that there is a very good chance that this will be Hackintosh capable. However, one thing is for sure, the Wi-Fi that is on here has zero support, so chances are that unless the one dude on the Tony x86 forums who said that he was going to write his own driver does it, um, this will have no built-in Wi-Fi support, which means you'll have to use a little dongle that will plug into either end of these USB ports. So you will be sacrificing one USB-A port. You have to, uh, to get Wi-Fi going and um, potentially Bluetooth. But um, I haven't looked into the sound yet. Sound is not working, but I did have GPU acceleration working. Funnily enough, if we go into system report, it actually does pick up the camera, though. Can I do, what am I, photo booth? Photo booth. Does it see me? Hey, hey, look at that. Can you guys see that? There it is. So the, ca the camera is working on this thing, which is hilarious. <laughs> so the webcam is working. Um, I have the display working, but right now in this particular instance, uh, as far as I understand, I don't have GPU acceleration actually operational. Uh, one of the key takeaway here, and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but it only says 15 megabytes here, and this is supposed to show um, a larger VRAM allocation, um, like 1.5 gigs, uh, 1,536 uh, 1, megabytes. This display, you can see, it actually lists itself as a 42-inch display at 2560 by 1600. It does correctly list the uh, UHD 615 GPU that's located on the SOC itself. I did fully wipe this NVMe stick on here, so I do have 512 gigs of storage that is available to everything. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, sleep doesn't work. Um, you can hear the fan. Man, look how gross that is. Apologies. You can hear that the fan just keeps going. So it has no actual idea that it's closed right now. And we just open it back up. So sleep is not working currently. Uh, sound I don't have working just yet. Uh, additionally, I, there's a few things that I still need to do. Uh, but I don't know if it's worth the effort. And I just wanted to kind of gauge interest to see what was going on. Hence this very quick review. It's not going to be very, very long or anything. But Again, I barely spent any time with this, and I know that there are, were some people that were very much interested 
in uh, just seeing it running. Uh, there was a dude on Discord that had asked me, uh, keyboard and mouse trackpad all work. Um, you know, this, uh, the touchpad works as you would expect. Let's, it does that little Mac thing when you uh, go really fast, it just highlights the mouse cursor. The webcam is working, which is hilarious. Touchscreen is not working. Um, that's it. Um, I don't think that there's anything else really to show you at the moment other than um, the chances of getting this working are very good in so far as I barely have done anything and got it running. Um, so that's it. That's a quick video. Again, if you guys have any pointers, if you guys have any things that could accelerate me getting this display, the onboard display with uh, the graphics acceleration working and um, what I might need to do, because um, again, if you guys can just accelerate that process for me, that'd be excellent. Otherwise, I will just go and read it myself. If anyone wants me to continue further with Hackintoshing the GBD P2 Max, this is just a quick first look that, of it, and um, it was rather simple to get it up and running. Uh, it was actually alarming how easy it was. Um, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will look out for the comments. Thank you so much for your time.